our first card is a six which relates to um, our rebirth and um, on top of it we can see the word compassion So we have to expand the word compassion and expand and we can do that by expand it's by expanding its meaning. Um I can see the word compass, you know, uh, in there I iron Okay, um, it's to me knowing where people are and knowing what they need because I have been in their shoes. The cards that we will draw from would be becoming centered and not being um, affected too much by what other others say and their opinions about things but rather sticking to who I am and my relationship with others and do, doing that which is best for everyone intelligence is not about uh, knowing a lot about things but rather um, being um, cognizant of where others are as per me and putting my feet in their shoes and realizing what I can assist them with and how I can express myself by interacting with them and um, us learning together. This will be a big challenge but challenges are there to for us to expand and that is in fact the where this reading is going so if we look at the the self the self has a little bit of anger um, and of course we have to deal with the the problem of innocence and how we can transform and expand those words to be able to handle the ultimate accident um, that can come our way whenever and instead of judging these challenges and fearing f failure to to see this as as a way for us to use this anger use this energy and power to be able to break through the limitations in our lives. This is um, relationships 
and and the mastery of relationships in terms of um, being the one that's driving the relationship towards what is best best for both and um, what is stopping us to doing that is when we ha we have um, ideas of how it should be in terms of um, Um, how others function and what is um, what the success mean in relationships compared to failure in relationships where we have expectations rather than um, realizing and working on ourselves realizing who we are and how we can be the best that we can be so that then we transform um, our desires to wanting what is best for both of us knowing that that will translate to what is best to people in our world and that instead of hoping for that to happen we make it happen because we are aware of who we are and our place in this world and how to give meaning to our words and meaning to what we do this is um, enlightenment beyond the small family and this is talking about work and sources of income so embracing um, all of life and our relationship to all of that um, can bleed into our work area Or our area or different areas of our lives and right now we are looking at work so we can use this at work um, where there's we can draw upon understanding other others which is based on understanding ourselves dropping knowledge rather than uh, using knowledge and data for um, becoming more or less than others and judging others we will use it to drop knowledge to come to an understanding of ourselves and others that we work with and um, being aware of when we misuse our power and correcting that um, here um, it, it is about trust and how we can assist others and all parts of life as all parts of life um, where we will develop gratefulness 
for being here and for being able to develop ourselves to contribute for the best of all. Um, drawing upon our understanding and that we are the breath and that that breath never dies and uh, developing courage to be able to push forward and uh, developing um, um, focus to pushing through and doing just that. So we will remove this and we will look at these cards. Here we are going to arrange it in front of us. Okay, this symbol, this symbol here um, refers to the mind. Let's look at uh, what's beha behind all this. It's um, our affinity with plants and animals. And our learning experience would be receptivity, meaning to not to see that we are above them and so we are the ones teaching them but rather to receive from them also and learn from them receptivity is something like that and that we can draw from being single point single pointed in terms of I mean single pointedness in terms of our mind not wondering when we are with them and reacting so much and being so emotional and lovey dovey also listening to what they're telling us communing with them as equals and also understanding the mind through understanding how they relate to us without the mind or with very little emotional reactions and learning from that where um, animals become true to themselves and being um, non-reactive with regard or unattached but at the same time keeping that physical interaction with us real this oh the, this relationship with animals and plants also referred to the um, the way we um prepare food we're in um we stick to the real meaning of food where, where food uh, are substances that we ingest for nourishment and considering that as a starting point for directing our choices our food choices 
and how we prepare food. Um, we prepare food not for taste, but looking at um, blood types and what is needed by the body in terms of ingesting food that the body doesn't react to. The, the body can sit to it. And this is about repentance. Whatever we did that is related to money and anything physical that that um, is not really best for everyone but rather best to, best for oneself only um, in terms of the starting point being self-interest so here um, we are we can learn from um, the greatest miracle the greatest miracle being um, what releases after we have forgiven ourselves for um, the limitation we have imposed on ourselves in terms of maybe spending money um, in terms of um, misusing it and stuff like that um, here we can draw upon pra practicality um, and using money in a practical way where we all, we can um, um, only buy that which we need and of course um, lessening or releasing anxiety when it comes when we are overspending or uh, saving too much um, for the future and uh, rather than doing that we can look at a practical way of living within our means and um, also um, giving um, money value equal to life and also using money accordingly in terms of um, assisting projects and that is best for all life and also um, drawing upon the word ordin ordinariness which is really um, keeping our expenses to the minimum because we only spend for things that are needed um, and um, not buying um, so many clothes that we don't really need and stuff like that that those are just examples so this here is about our relationship with the words and how words can in fact assist us and uh, 
enjoying life and what is stopping us from doing that is searching searching for whatever it is that we want and usually what we want is based on uh, um, our beliefs um, regarding you know how we use words and so we stick to the that limited definition that we have of words and so our behavior becomes limited another word we can draw from is the word devotion devotion to learning about ourselves and learning about how we can expand words to be able to expand our expression of ourselves in this world so that then we can do what we came here for rebirth moment to moment uh, this is about us not worrying too much about the future nor of the past but um, being here in this moment and making the most of it through our expanded expression and uh, where others learn from us and they also expand their expression as they learn with us postponement postponement is telling us um, that we are postponing expansion of the meaning of words and expansion of ourselves um, and so our learning here is looking at the opposite of postponement which is doing it now not based on um, intelligence and reason that is coming from a normal way of doing things which leads us to limitation but in doing things now and instead of postponing pushing ourselves to uh, do that which is best for our life right here in this moment so this um, this card is about work um, in, in, where this is doing something to be able to achieve the spiritual awareness um, as this is referring to your spirituality um, and understanding that it is not just through giving something um, giving money or whatever items for example as gifts but rather it is about giving ourselves so that is the learning that we need to be able to be spiritually aware and spiritually um, enjoy our life this is transformation which is one of the three words that we can draw from to be able to learn what we need to learn in terms of giving of ourselves yeah we, we need to transform ourselves first to be able to help others transform themselves we should be able to learn how to play and um, share this enjoyment with others to be able to open the gates of heaven as in contributing to creating for example a haven on earth in a way based from self change which um, relates to changing society. Here we have um, 
the card the cards um, greed which is really looking at expanding the opposite of greed which is um, giving giving of ourselves and um, not really being afraid of what challenges we will face but rather pushing through that and here uh, we can draw from the words prayer and um, prayer being um, being cognizant of why we're here and what our role is and our responsibility is on earth and um, being single pointed vulnerability is allowing ourselves to accept challenges and face challenges to be able to see our weak points and transform them into strengths so that then our worth will come out which is not really something that is based on how much we know or how much money we have but rather um, the real worth of a human being being um, to be able to transform oneself and um, see the potential value that we all have to change as we change ourselves and change the world the, the last one we have is regarding dance and movement which would lead us to wholeness and uh, the problem we usually have is when we compare with others and, and we, you know what goes on when we compare we compare then we ju judge and we become jealous and then we try to outdo others in terms of how we move and how we dance how we behave you know so we can draw from so we can draw from these words beyond greed um, be, beyond greed meaning transforming that um, need to benefit ourselves only by whatever we do but also looking at benefiting all of life animals, humans, and plants, and uh, being able to um, learn from all parts of life, animals, plants, and other humans, so that then we can laugh and enjoy life and create a haven for all of us here on earth. And then expand more. <laughs>